our hands would be consuming more alcohol than our liver. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking you on a high-proof alcohol tour. However, in the age of coronavirus, we are not sipping whiskey in the tasting room. We are using it to save, save lives. lives. So let's back up here. Earlier this year in March, when the coronavirus pandemic began to rage, distilleries around the country slowed liquor production to a halt and began to produce a much needed replacement, hand sanitizer. Sanitizers were really difficult to find when the outbreak escalated into a pandemic. It sent shoppers all over the country into panic buying frenzies that left shelves empty of cleaning supplies and toilet paper. Since the distilleries had the ability to produce ethanol, they stepped up to meet the demand for consumers and essential and frontline workers. We are now almost at the end of August, and as the pandemic continues to threaten businesses into shutting down for good, Bay Area distilleries have shifted from producing award-winning craft spirits and beer to producing something not so fancy. As Heretic Brewing Company likes to call it, germ juice. This has become a familiar, if not normal, sight in the age of COVID-19. Here in the Bay Area, we've lived almost half a year with most businesses closed and shops still shut. In normal times, the distillery makes most of its money from sales to bars and restaurants. But that revenue stream has since dried up, so the liquor industries are looking to help in response to this and also to find other ways to look for revenue streams. Heretic Brewing Company started distilling hand sanitizer in March at the start of the pandemic. Originally a brewery, they began producing spirits about a year ago. This is where you guys brew the beer. Yes. So is this where you guys are also distilling hand sanitizer? Uh, not on this side of the building. That'll be in our new distillery on the other side. So Heretic is now producing spirits. Yes. And then when the sanitizer uh, rush came in uh, in March and April, the government told us we could do that to help out. So we just decided we had to. Malcolm is the head distiller. He told me that at the start of the pandemic, they were looking for sources of raw materials to make hand sanitizer with, but now are actually using their own bottled beer to produce it. They started making hand sanitizer after an unusually quick turnaround from the government, essentially allowing them to just go for it. Being a distillery, they are constantly learning new regulations and sourcing new ingredients that are very scarce. For us, uh, it's very slow and tedious. Uh, because we're a very small distillery, you know, making one barrel per batch is our typical run, which is about 300 bottles. Our bottle filling machine is designed to do one bottle at a time. And we are working 16 hours a day uh, and also for labeling and packaging all these bottles too. Where are you distributing the hand sanitizer? So everything is, we did a lot of hand sanitizer to local hospitals. Uh, the Kaiser Permanente hospitals got in touch with us and ordered a lot of it, um, as well as local police departments. Malcolm says that the biggest challenge has been finding bottles and other supplies to bottle hand sanitizer. So that is what's going going into this. Is that correct? Yep, that's exactly right. This is the chocolate hazelnut in bottles, so someone will have to come in and uh, crack open every single one of these guys, 12 bottles per case, uh, then we'll distill that into hand sanitizer. Do you see Heretic making hand sanitizer through the pandemic and after? As long as there's a need for it, we'll provide it. So we just wanna make sure everybody has what they need, and we always do have the capacity to ramp back up at any time. So there really is no magic or mystery to this. In terms of production, sanitizer is fairly easy to make. All that's required is a combination of high proof alcohol, ethanol, and hydrogen peroxide. Distilleries already have the large non-reactive tanks and the base alcohol needed to produce the sanitizer in bulk. So they sent you guys the instructions and they're like, hopefully and trustingly you guys know how to do it because it's alcohol and then two other ingredients. The hand sanitizer, they just said, if you follow this recipe, you're good to go. Honestly, the main focus for us has been just trying to provide for our employees, making sure we have a company for them to work at, providing it for as many employees as possible. As hand sanitizers started to sell out, distilleries started to realize, hey, this is something we can do and step up. We actually started to get a lot of requests not just from local customers but from hospitals and fire departments and police departments and so we just did our best to produce as much as possible and give back to the community like we've always done. Heretic Brewing Company recognized the opportunity to be of service to the public while hopefully generating enough revenue to stay afloat through this economic turmoil that's been created by the pandemic. Other distilleries 
distilleries here in the Bay Area are also mass producing hand sanitizer to fight COVID-19. At Hansen's Distillery of Sonoma, the Hansen family produces organic vodka from grapes. Well, unfortunately, we are not going to be vodka tasting <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> we have a distillery and it's something that my family has been, um, it's really my brother's passion project. We grew up right next to wine country over in Marin and we were surrounded by this incredible resource, but we wanted to do something with grapes that was a little different than your wheat or potato or vodka or wine. So we decided to make a grape based um, vodka. Now they're contributing their efforts to our community and filling a need in this national emergency. The Hansen family transitioned to include hand sanitizer as one of their essential products. With hundreds of gallons of 190 proof ethanol, they basically created a new business in a week. The hand sanitizer is something we decided to do just because we could. The, the main ingredient in the hand sanitizer is, is alcohol, and that's what we make here. We do the, the hand sanitizer over here. And so, yeah, it's, it's basically the same, same alcohol. We add <laughs> some glycerin so it doesn't dry your hands out. The, it's the World Health Organization formula, so it's mm -hmm, just kind of the, mm -hmm. the basic formula. This process is a lot faster because you just have to distill down the alcohol and then you just mix everything and it's done. Yeah, it's much faster. The, yeah. There's much smaller bottles. Mm -hmm much less ingredients a lot you know with our flavors we have to sit on them for a month or two to have them kind of naturally infused but the tough thing with with the sanitizer is just bottling you know it's a lot of little we borrowed this machine from uh, a company that we work with uh, locally and we, you know it's tough to get those little bottles all of those bottles kind of ran out as hand sanitizer was so that was the hardest thing to get alana thank you so much for having me come out here i'm so glad that i got to explore this place and meet you it's just right off 121 so it was like 25 minutes from my house it's so close thank you i mean thank you for coming up here you know we we are working really hard to keep it safe and have people kind of still visit us during this time and we've got our tasting room in sausalito open and our tasting room here in sonoma open for outdoor tasting so Anytime you want to bring you or your family or uh, bye, we'll take care of you guys and yes. show you around again. And, and we really appreciate you coming out. Here. I would love to bring my mom and dad. They will love you. <laughs> These businesses are wanting to do something as positive as possible. They are attacking this issue head on by starting a new business in a short amount of time with constant regulation changes while also trying to source raw ingredients. And these distilleries are pricing hand sanitizer so close to the cost that they're really not making a profit on it. For them, it's about keeping the staff employed and providing a need for the community. So beyond the passion these distillers have to deliver us unique and craft liquors, they also have a vested interest in reducing the threat of the virus. As the distilling world adjusts to its new role as a business of potentially life-saving goods, whatever the complications are, the end results are that it matters. And it's an empowering feat of production that lets them them and all of us keep pushing forward. Frankly, this whole thing is gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. Heretic Brewing Company and Hanson of Sonoma have worked so long for years to create and run a successful business and brand, and one day they wake up and they're told to close, not because of anything that they've done, but for the betterment of society and the protection of people's health. Although there might be a light at the end of the tunnel, one thing we know for sure is that this new normal is not going to resemble anything we've worked in before. Thank you Heretic Brewing Company and thank you Hanson Sonoma Distillery for stepping up to the challenges of COVID-19, for proving resilience, for getting creative and for giving back to the community. We will be able to benefit for generations and may this inspire and compel all of our efforts during these really tough and very strange times. Thank you everyone and I hope you're still staying safe out there. Out of curiosity, I'm just wondering what is it like where you are now? Have things changed a bit? Have things been opening back up or locking back down? Uh, comment below how things are going for you out there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm Haley Dasovich. Until next time, take on the world. Bye.